Yeah. So, uh, more rain headed our way. Well, more rain falling right now. now. We're stuck inside. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, and, and in Pittsburgh, it's dry, and this has been the case. We haven't seen much rain from Pittsburgh to the north, but, uh, you know, over the last couple of days, places along and south of I-70 has really been slammed with some rain, a couple of inches uh, down that way, and we did have some communities that are under a flash flood watch uh, starting off this morning. We'll show you that coming up. Right now, cloudy outside once again. No surprise there. 66 for your temperature. That's the same as the dew point. That means that our humidity or relative humidity 100%. Basically what that says is that we're saturated. We can't hold no more. You're trying to cool down. You're going to get some drizzle out there. So don't be surprised if you do see some pockets of drizzle this morning. Winds out of the south at three miles. Be most of the day. You can see the rain sliding in coming in from the south. Heaviest of the pockets now starting to roll into parts of West Virginia, and that will impact the center of the state. So it'll be a near miss for us once again. In fact, you can see all the yellows. Westmoreland County to the east. Most of Allegheny County dry, but we are seeing some very light rain starting to slide in from the south. That was the last time we checked just into Greene County. It's now in Washington County and probably in about 30 minutes or so that will be moving into Allegheny County. So we'll continue to watch things. You can see the South Strabane area there continuing to see some light rain. I guess just starting to see some light rain. And if you head off to the east, just east of Uniontown, we have some pockets of heavier rain, including in the Somerset area where we'll call it moderate rain. Point. Here's what model data is going to show. We showed this to you yesterday. It's pretty on point that we will see that light showers or those light showers at least moving in from the south. Now, as we're heading into the afternoon, you see those more kind of dots here and there of rain. Well, each one of those could be an isolated thunderstorm as well. So a couple of thunderstorms possible in the afternoon hours. These should be fairly weak, but they will be coming in out of the south. So we'll watch closely for that. More rain expected on Friday as well and smaller chances, but still a chance for rain both on Saturday and on Sunday. Here's your seven day outlook, including those temperatures really going up both Saturday and Sunday as well. Mid to upper 80s starting Saturday and continuing.